This is part two of what's new with MotorWave 5, public beta 1. And I'm just going to show you first a couple of things for Mac users. Mac users can now work with MotorWave in full window, or you can work with MotorWave in split window. Remember, you just, uh, let me get back to that now. So just click and hold, move it to the top corner, it takes up half a window, and then any other compatible half window app like Safari, Twitter, uh, Maps, um, Word, Pages, Excel, um, can be used in the second window. So that's for you Mac users. Now let's get into what's new in the preferences. First thing is the dock. If you want to change the dock and you want to put it at the top instead of the bottom, when you click apply, it's automatic. It just does it. You don't have to exit out of Motive Wave and come back in again. It's going to be done. Um, under chart, uh, let's go under tool, let's do toolbars. Tony I guess got tired of people saying why isn't this available in the toolbar and why isn't that available in the toolbar and now man everything is available. Anything that you can click from these menus um, is now available to put in your toolbar and it works the same as you did before. You just push it over, drag and drop and rearrange by dragging and dropping and adding your spacers. Um, I think you're going to like it. I just made a change that I don't want to keep. So, what else is new? Um, the, the under ratios. Now, the ability to choose your component set. So, fib retracements. Uh, you can now um, show your ratio lines, show your range lines, allow vertical resizing as you did before, but you'll also be able to, well, you've lost the ability to extend the ratios left or right from here. Uh, so I guess you're going to have to just depend on the, on the tool yourself. But there's a bit of changes here. If, you're, if you use ratios a lot, you should poke around here. Um, under trade history, uh, these two lines are new. These two items are new. Um, if you double click the ch chart to do chart settings, um, there are some changes here. Uh, yeah, they, he's added one thing here under bar settings. Um, which is, you can still show extended data by chart, of course, interval, bar size. Um, he's added the interval, so that would be for your ticks. You can change your interval directly here. Um, show alert history, so under display, you now have the ability to show your, your alert history right here which you didn't have in the previous version. Labels are done better than they were before, that's for sure. Um, labels are found in the preferences and they're extensively changed. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we go over here, preferences, chart, labels. And now we can choose the labels that we want to appear on all of our charts, as opposed to having to work with the other format, which was, you know, you had to go enable them, disable them, and if you want it, you can move them up and move them down. Uh, you could edit them by clicking on this um, crayon here. Now, if you want to move the order, you just move the order. Um, I lost change percent by messing around there, so uh, I'll get it back later. 
if you want to change the properties of any one of these, you just double click on it. Say whether you want it at the bottom right, what color, what border color, what font, and what prefix you want to use. So working with labels is much easier, far more sophisticated. Um, trade has been added to the has been added in chart settings. Um, so that would mean double click on your chart and you now have the ability under labels one display display to show your show trade history hover. Can't find it now. It's not a big one. I just can't find it now. Uh, studies. Doesn't look like there's any changes in the studies. There may be new studies added, but the drop down looks very similar to what you have in version four. Uh, strategies, similar in strategies. I don't see any changes at the first level here. Under window, sorry, under configure. Um, Let's go under window. Under window, uh, no changes. Under configure, it's now um, manage instruments. It used to be called it used to be called manage instruments. Under configure, manage instruments. Now it's configure instruments. No difference. Help is now called support. So you don't have a help anymore, you have support. If you're looking for the traditional help, it's under mode of wave, about mode of wave, at least in a Mac, and you'll find all of your information about it there. Um, there's a new support in how to. If you click on how to, it will take you to a very useful set of how-to um, tutorials. Um, restore. You can now, you can restore uh, version 4 files as well. So when you go into browse here, it's going to allow you to restore backup files or version 4 backup files. Once you move from version 4 and you bring it into version 5, it's not usable under version 4 again. So I would encourage you on any of your version 4 backups to make a copy of your backup to the desktop and keep your backups in their normal place on your Dropbox or whatever. Um, because once you move them from 4 to 5, you can't use them in 4 anymore. Um, down at the bottom here, you now have these little icons, whereas in version 4, you had um, you had these over here. So now in version 5, if you want to pop out this chart, you can pop it out from down here. So they're not going to be labeled on every chart. It's just save some real estate. So if it's the S&P you want to pop out, you click it, you go down here, and you say, whoops, it's USO again. So I am wrong on that. You do have to go here and it is on all of them. Um, and you can pop them out or you can make them full size and then shrink them down. Um, now when you go to add a new chart and you go, um, so here to add a new chart, your 
nothing's changed there. So if you do file, file new, um, <laughs> so what I'm looking for, <coughs> um, adding a new chart tab. Uh, before you just got symbol analysis and bar size, and now you have symbol analysis, bar size, and you can automatically set it as a, a to a, a colored link. Um, just saves you a step. And uh, we're going to have to find that one because it's not here under File, New, Open, Chart, Chart. No, it's not. Anyhow, I'm sure you'll come across it. Have fun with version 5. It's got some great stuff in it. Hope I didn't ramble on too much. Thank you.